In the world of royal romance, fairy tales often intertwine with tradition and public expectations. However, the engagement of Princess Martha Louise of Norway to Durek Verret has shattered conventional norms, sparking intrigue and controversy across the globe. Verret, an American self-proclaimed shaman, has captivated the world's attention with his unconventional beliefs and claims of supernatural abilities. Princess Martha Louise, known for her own openness to alternative spirituality, found a kindred spirit in Verret. Their shared passion for exploring realms beyond the ordinary drew them together. But it was Verret's extraordinary claims that thrust their relationship into the spotlight. From reversing aging to communicating with spirits, Verret's pronouncements have both intrigued and unsettled challenging traditional notions of reality. Born in Sacramento, California, he has described himself as a sixth generation shaman, tracing his lineage back to African and indigenous American roots. As the world awaits their impending wedding, the spotlight on Princess Martha Louise and Durek Verret intensifies, fueled by curiosity, skepticism, and a touch of awe. Durek Verret's introduction to the world as Princess Martha Louise's fiancé thrust him into the global spotlight. Calling himself Shaman Durek, he presented himself as a spiritual guide and healer, offering insights into the realms of energy, past lives and supernatural abilities. One of Verret's most eyebrow-raising claims is his alleged ability to reverse aging. He has stated that through specific spiritual practices and manipulations of one's energy field, individuals can defy the natural aging process. In addition to reversing aging, Verrett has spoken extensively about his purported past lives, weaving intricate tales of his previous incarnations. He has described encounters with spirits, communication with the dead, and the ability to manipulate energy fields to influence the physical world. These assertions, while captivating to those open to the possibility of such phenomena, have drawn criticism from skeptics who demand empirical evidence. Durek Verit's teachings delve deep into the realm of alternative spirituality, encompassing concepts like past lives, energy healing, and spiritual awakening. He posits that individuals carry within them the residual energy and experiences of their past lives, which can influence their present circumstances. Central to Verrett's spiritual teachings is the concept of energy healing. He believes that the human body is surrounded by an energy field, often referred to as an aura, which can become blocked or imbalanced. Through various modalities like Reiki, chakra balancing and crystal healing, Verrett suggests that these energy blockages can be cleared. Verrett's approach to healing extends beyond traditional energy work, incorporating unconventional methods that have sparked both curiosity and concern. Another controversial aspect of Verrett's teachings is his stance on the relationship between emotions and physical health. Durek Verrett's unconventional beliefs and practices have not been without their detractors. Critics ranging from medical professionals to religious figures have raised concerns about his teachings, accusing him of promoting pseudoscience and spreading misinformation. One of the primary criticisms leveled against Verrett is that his claims lack scientific evidence. His pronouncements about reversing aging, communicating with spirits, and the efficacy of certain alternative healing modalities have not been subjected to rigorous scientific scrutiny. Verrett has also faced accusations of cultural appropriation particularly from indigenous communities. Critics argue that his use of the term shaman and his adoption of certain indigenous healing practices are disrespectful and exploitative. Furthermore, Verrett's claims about the relationship between emotions and physical health have raised concerns among medical professionals. Amidst the swirling controversy surrounding her fiancé, Princess Martha Louise of Norway has found herself navigating a delicate balance between defending her personal choices and upholding her royal duties. Known for her own openness to alternative spirituality, the princess has faced criticism for her association with Verrett. Despite the backlash, Princess Martha Louise has remained steadfast in her support for Verrett, emphasizing their shared spiritual path. She has spoken publicly about her own experiences with energy healing and alternative therapies. However, the princess's unwavering support for Verrett has not come without consequences. In a significant move, she announced her decision to step back from her official royal duties. 
United by their shared passion for alternative spirituality, Princess Martha Louise and Durek Verret embarked on a series of public appearances and workshops. These events, often billed as the Princess and the Shaman Tours, attracted a mix of curious onlookers, devoted followers and sceptical observers. During their tours, the couple delved into topics like energy healing, spiritual awakening and the power of manifestation. They shared personal anecdotes, led guided meditations and engaged in interactive sessions with the audience. However, their public appearances were not without controversy. Critics accused the couple of exploiting their royal platform to promote unsubstantiated claims. As the date of their wedding approaches, Princess Martha Louise of Norway and Durek Verret find themselves at the center of a media maelstrom. The controversy surrounding their relationship has cast a long shadow over their upcoming union. The guest list for the wedding itself has become a subject of intense speculation. The potential attendance of high-profile figures from the world of entertainment and spirituality adds another layer of intrigue. The wedding's dress code, described as sexy and cool, has further fueled the media frenzy. The location of the wedding, a picturesque yet secluded spot in Norway, has also been subject to scrutiny. Durek Verret's emergence on the world stage, intertwined with his relationship with Princess Martha Louise, has captivated the global imagination. His persona, a blend of spirituality, self-help and New Age mysticism, has struck a chord with a growing segment of society. Verret's teachings, with their emphasis on personal empowerment, spiritual awakening and the power of manifestation, resonate with a desire for agency and control. His unconventional appearance, often adorned with crystals, feathers and other spiritual accoutrements, further adds to his mystique. This carefully cultivated image, while criticized by some as a form of cultural appropriation, has nonetheless captivated the attention of those seeking something beyond the mundane. The fascination with Durek Verret speaks to a broader cultural shift, a growing openness to alternative spiritualities. The relationship between Princess Martha Louise of Norway and Durek Verret has become a symbolic battleground for the clash between tradition and modernity. The princess, bound by the protocols and expectations of her royal lineage, finds herself torn between upholding tradition and following her heart. The Norwegian monarchy, steeped in centuries of history and tradition, embodies a sense of stability, continuity and national identity. Verret's entrance into this world with his unconventional beliefs and practices disrupts this established order. The princess's decision to step back from her royal duties reflects the gravity of the situation and the potential impact of her relationship on the monarchy's reputation. The controversy surrounding their relationship also underscores the evolving nature of belief systems in the 21st century. At the heart of the fascination surrounding Durek Verret and his relationship with Princess Martha Louise lies a fundamental human question. What do we believe in and why? Verret's teachings, with their blend of spirituality, self-help and New Age philosophies, tap into a deep-seated human desire for meaning, purpose and connection. The appeal of Verrett's teachings speaks to the power of belief itself. Whether his claims are rooted in scientific fact or not, the act of believing in something can have a profound impact on our thoughts, emotions and behaviours. The search for meaning is a universal human experience and in an increasingly secularised world, individuals are exploring a wider range of spiritual and philosophical paths. Verrett's teachings resonate with a desire for agency and control in a world often perceived as overwhelming and unpredictable. The relationship between Princess Martha Louise and Durek Verrett continues to captivate the world. Their journey, unfolding against a backdrop of intense scrutiny and societal expectations, invites us to reflect on the complexities of love in the public eye. Their love story, far from a conventional fairy tale, is a testament to the idea that love can blossom in the most unexpected of places. Their willingness to stand by each other despite the backlash and criticism speaks to the depth of their bond. As their story unfolds, it will be fascinating to witness how they navigate the challenges ahead. Will their love withstand the pressures of public scrutiny and the weight of tradition? Only time will tell.